Hey everybody, it's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks so much for being here today. I'm gonna to be working on this chunky textured resin geode in this video. I love resin geodes. They're some of my favorite things to work on and I've been doing a lot in the molds lately. So I thought I better do a geode. And I actually found this cutout and I've had it for a long time and I found these plastic gems that I've had for a long time and I decided to throw them all together for this piece. My patrons will be getting bonus content, uh, so I'm going to be giving you guys here on YouTube kind of a basic explanation of some of the stuff I did here, explaining some of the products. Mostly everything is from my store. Everything will be listed in the description. Uh, things like these plastic gems I got on Amazon, and they were actually considered... Um, ice cubes. That's how they were described in the description on Amazon. Uh, and they literally are these clear cubes. And I took them and spray painted them. I'll show you guys the spray paint here in a second. But I like to take these plastic gems, put them in actually an Amazon old box, put them in there and then just spray uh, the spray paint in there, get them thoroughly covered, kind of move them around. So there's what they look like, and this is the spray paint that I used. I used a gold metallic, and then I used a rose gold glitter on these, and then just hot glued them into place. I am doing this on MDF board. This was cut for me. I gesso primed it twice and sanded it, and then I actually painted it with sort of a cream, very, very pale pink um, house paint that I got at Lowe's. You know, they have those samples sometimes that people don't want. They're like $1.50. I bought a couple of those and I just painted this board with it. There I'm just using some of the gold metallic spray paint to just get any edges or sides that weren't covered on the gems. And then here getting the inside opening so that everything's nice, con nice consistent and covered with the gold paint. Okay, so as you can see here, I did some corners of the piece as well in the plastic gems and finished off the edges with some fire glass. Again, everything will be listed below in the description. And I've mixed up some Total Boat art resin and I'm just taking the clear and drizzling it over these pieces. I did hot glue down almost everything, but sometimes a few pieces are still loose and I just wanted to make sure that these were gonna be secured. And of course the resin just gives a nice glossy shine to everything. The colors for this piece are going to be the Beige Matte Color Cream. I'm going to use Baby Pink Mica Pigment. I'm going to use the Gold Metallic Color Cream. And finally, the Antique Lace Mica Pigment. Those are going to be our pigments. And then some Champagne Gold Glitter. I am going to incorporate a little bit of the True Love Glitter too. In with that glitter in the same spots. You'll see a little bit of that later. And we're just gonna prime with a little bit of clear and then I'm gonna go right in with my beige mat. I wanted this to have pretty muted tones. I knew I wanted them to be kind of creamy, off-white and pink. And I think all of these colors looked really beautiful together. This is the antique lace. This is the baby pink. And using my gloved fingers, I'm just going to blend some of these together. I didn't want them to get too mixed, but I wanted to just get a nice blend. And I just find my fingers work best sometimes, better than any other tool. And then I can just wipe my gloves off with a baby wipe and we're good to go. Um, speaking of gloves, I always use black nitrile gloves. I always have them listed in the description. Oh, and here is that champagne gold glitter. Look at how beautiful this is. Stunning fine glitter. And all of these products you can find in my dryerdaysartstudio.com online store. And then here is the gold metallic. All of my metallics do float. Uh, the way I get them to float is I will lay them in like this, usually last. My metallics are usually the last pigment I will lay in. Hit gently with a little bit of heat to pop any bubbles and then spritz with some rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. And it will separate some of that metallic out from the base and you'll get it to float on top of the resin. And then you get that beautiful sheen on top of the resin um, after it cures. So all of my metallics in my color cream line will float. I find they float better with 
a sturdier resin, uh, so something that's not as loose. So like a Total Boat Art Resin or a Countertop Epoxy, um, I find it tends to float a little bit better in those. The ones that are really thin, um, I don't see as much stay on the top. So a higher viscosity, it might not float as much, but it still will. And just going through, touching up here, really blending these in. I wanted it to be more blended. I didn't want a ton of separation in this piece. All right, guys, and using some of my favorite paint markers from Michaels, I'm gonna add in a little line here. I am gonna save how I did the back of this piece and some of the extra texture and blending techniques for my patrons over at dryerdays.com slash Patreon. Uh, the link to that will be in the description as well. That is just a monthly subscription to help support my channel and they give a monthly donation and then they get bonuses over there on Patreon. And it just, it really helps me out. It's, you know, if you like my channel, it's just a way to support me. And I've had the Patreon now for a couple of years. So there are a ton of videos on there that you'd have access to already if you decided to become a patron today. So I have saved some of that content for them over there. I hope you guys uh, check it out and maybe want to become a patron. And I hope you guys liked this video and found something useful in it. See there, you can see how the gold is floating on that gold metallic. And here is the final product. I'm gonna show you it in a few different light settings outside, different times of day. I just think those chunky gems turned out so cool in this. I think it really gave it something to look a little bit different. I'm really glad I put them around the center hole in the middle there. And here's a different time of day. You can see that glitter in there. You can see a few extra little chunky pieces and that's where I added the True Love Biodegradable Glitter. That's a really pretty pink and gold glitter that I have in my store as well. I added a white line in there just to give it something to pop a little bit, and I did add my initials and a marker. I may still do a flood coat on this, I'm not sure yet, and I may finish off the back by painting it and adding some hardware. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out dryerdaysartstudio.com for everything that I used in this video. Check out the video description for all the supplies used, all my favorite stuff. Come check me out on Instagram and TikTok at dryerdays. And until next time, everybody, Keep on pouring.